My name is Zaley. I'm a senior aquarist here at Georgia Aquarium. I work with our corals, our freshwater fish, and a variety of freshwater plants. Coral is actually an animal. Um, it's made up of thousands of tiny polyps. So corals are important for a lot of different reasons. They're important um, for the livelihood of a lot of people. Um, a lot of people go out sport fishing, a lot of people go scuba diving. They're also important as a barrier for our coastline. They help protect against um, tropical storms and wave damage. They're also important because there's a lot of diversity in coral reefs where fish live and are nurseries for those small fish. Another reason why we should care for our coral reefs is because it covers about 1% of our ocean floor, but it provides homes to about 25% of marine life, which is a pretty large amount if you think about it. A variety of challenges that corals are facing. One is overfishing. Um, another one is ocean acidification, as well as pollution. So sunscreen is a big hot topic right now with corals. Um, a lot of uh, lab work has been done to test sunscreen and how it affects corals. Um, and they've seen things um, like it causing mutation um, in the corals themselves, inhibiting reproduction in corals. There are certain ingredients that people are looking out for now. So one of the big ingredients people should avoid is oxybenzone. Um, it's actually been banned in Hawaii and Palau. You really want to choose a sunscreen that has um, zinc oxide in it or titanium dioxide as main ingredients. Um, and make sure to actually like check that label um, to see them listed as a top ingredient. Um, as well as you can do simple things like wearing uh, loose fitting clothing, rash guards, hats, um, and then you don't have to put on as much sunscreen. The main thing is just to really think about our choices that we make every day um, because everything we do, even located here in Atlanta, affects our oceans. So we really want to think about you know, single-use plastic, using refillable water bottles, using uh, reusable grocery bags, and even those everyday products that we may use, um, pouring down the drain or out in our yards, you know, how that affects and goes to the ocean.